Hey guys, John here from John of Threeification. I forgot to make this video a long time ago, but I wanted to show you the second molding of the Race Against Time on the Tricks, or 3D print, I should say. This is a little bit bigger than the one I did. I believe this is. YouTube channel asking me to make the Ben 10 Omnitrix. Now, uh, yeah, again, I've always been a big fan of Ben 10 uh, from when I was about six up until nine. I was like the biggest fan of Ben 10, and I always have been a fan of Ben 10, but I was the biggest fan of Ben 10 from like six to nine. So, um, 
Yeah, and uh, um, Ben 10 has always been a great uh, cartoon character. Probably my favorite Cartoon Network character uh, other than Johnny Test or something like that because I like those shows too. Or um, Adventure Time or something like that. But I loved watching Ben 10 all the time. And I had always wanted an Omnitrix and uh, I like had like five of them that I bought but they weren't really good. They were very cheap and plasticky and I wanted like a realistic uh, looking one and I tried making one at cardboard when I was about like nine or eight or something like that and it looked absolutely horrible so I had always wanted like a good looking one but uh, now that I've gotten older and I've matured more, I've gotten to be able to make more high quality stuff and I made the Omnitrix. So here it is. So here is the uh, realistic Omnitrix that I made that's based off the original um, Ben 10 series. Um, the ones where, he, where he's a teenager, I don't really like them that much because it doesn't really resemble Ben 10 and I haven't seen uh, Ben 10 Omniverse because again I stopped watching Ben 10 when I was about 9. I just never really picked back up on it again and uh, back then I was as big of a fan of Ben 10 as I am of Batman today so I was a huge fan of Ben 10 and I had so many different toys of it and everything but um yeah, so here is how to make it. So what you'll need for this is some white sticky foam for these parts. You'll need a green sticky foam for this and then these parts. And then you will also need some thick black foam for the little wristband part and also this part right here, like the little circle. And um, you'll need super glue to glue everything together. You can also use hot glue, but super glue works the best because if you're gluing this part with uh, hot glue, it will almost definitely bust open and uh, it'll ruin it. You can also add a buckle, but I think it looks more flush, just glued together like that. Um, uh, this is optional, but uh, you'll probably need a Mod Podge. Now what that'll do is they'll hold everything together. Can I see? No, we have to do more than that. Hey! Class 22, you're 19. 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 H